the Fat Controller had brought another engine from England. His old owner had gotten too old to manage him properly. Come on, Signal. Oh, that must be the new goods engine that the Fat Controller was talking about. Hello! It was an early afternoon down at Tidmouth, and the new arrival was expected soon. So much paperwork to do today. Oh, you must be my new goods engine. Welcome to Shodor. I'm Shatopham Hat, and you are... Daryl, sir. Shall I make my way to the sheds? There's a good engine. At Tidmouth Sheds, all the engines had gone to work. Well, almost. That new engine is supposed to be arriving today. We know. Look, he's coming now. I see they have a large engine. I hope I don't upset him. Hello, good morning. Who are you? You alright? Oh, yes, sorry, just thinking about things. My name is Daryl. Well, Daryl, you shouldn't be so rude. My name is Gordon. I can't chat, my express is due out in an hour. And I have to go and shunt his coaches. And later, Daryl, I have to go and shunt your grid strain. Must be pretty tiring for you. Thank goodness they brought me to help you. Oh, believe me. As soon as one train's ready, I have to go and prepare another. Later on, Jinty was waiting in the yards for Daryl to arrive. Even if you are a bit shy, you seem to know how to keep those trucks in order. Yes, I have had experience, I suppose. I'd better go and fetch Grumpy Gordon's coaches, I suppose. He is quite so, isn't he? Very much. But seriously, don't ever try waking him up from his siding. He'll probably- Gentee! Coming! <laughs> Looks like we'll have to prepare that goods train ourselves. Oh well, it'll save time. Maybe so. Ginty was in for a surprise when he got back to the yards later on. Oh, I'll be. Half the train sorted already. You didn't need me after all. <laughs> where is this train going? To Crowen's Gate. That's where the narrow gauge railway is. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. <whistles> See you later. The next day, a ballast train was due to go to Walsborough. But as it wasn't supposed to be out until the afternoon, Daryl had decided to help Jinty in the yards again. They'd formed quite a friendship. Gordon should try fetching his own coaches. Should love to see him do that. <laughs> oh. What is it? It's just, well, we talk about how grumpy Gordon is, and he is in fairness, but at least he gets to pull passenger trains. What does that have to do with it? I've always wanted to pull passenger trains, for a long time. I've never gotten the chance though. I wish I wasn't a goods engine. When you pull passengers, people come out to see you. They don't when you're pulling goods. I see. Well, I'll say this. You have a better chance than me anyway. <laughs> what chance do I have? I should have just accepted my position long ago, but no. <sighs> Tell you what, the train you're taking goes along the line by the seaside. Perhaps that will take your mind off it. Perhaps. Later on, Daryl was returning to Tidmouth with the ballast, and had put aside his troubles to enjoy the Sudrian scenery. At Tidmouth, Jinty went to the sheds to find Duck waiting. It's great that you get to work with that new Great Western engine. He's a bit shy, but he does mean well. I don't suppose you've ever had the chance to chat with him, have you? Not really, but I'd love to. He might have some stories of the old days to share.
What a sweet little line that is. I'm glad I got to go on it. Daryl, meet Duck. Duck, Daryl. Duck? Actually, my real name is Montague, but I'm well known as Duck. They used to say I waddle. You seem nice. Where did you used to work? On an old goods yard on the Longridge line to Birmingham. It was private. What engines did you see? Castles, manors. I mean, it was the Great Western after all. What was goods work like? Oh, we had a brake van at each end, which prevented trouble with trucks at least. But I did get bored after a while, and seeing what the larger engines were doing, I fancied the change. I never got that change though. I've still never gotten that change. I bet there are plenty of engines who haven't taken passengers either, and who knows what could happen. New home means new possibilities, if you ask me. I doubt that. Daryl and Jinty continued to work well in the yards, but Daryl still dreamt about taking passengers. Until... A few days later, Jinty, Daryl and Gordon were getting ready for the day's work. Jinty, I've never really had a friend like you. Well, one that understands my problems anyway. It means a lot of that does. The bigger engines always call me an annoying little... And just who is fetching my coaches today? As Jinty has been so kind, I think I'll go and take your coaches, if you don't mind, Gordon. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't. I don't care who fetches my coaches, just get them to the platform! Such elegant shunting. If only I could be the one coming with you today. Jinty? You've got trucks to shunt, Jinty. Jinty! Yes, Gordon, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Don't wear it out? Oh, you're getting too big for your wheels, Jinty, and no mistake. Let me show you what an intelligent engine is like. You might want to wait until... The points are in your direction. Dignity. How humiliating.